He was trying to protect his dog from a larger dog, and he ended up with stitches. And as you're about to see, a rather large open wound. It happened at a city dog park where size matters and where it appears that rules are not always followed. Mike McKnight is on the trail of answers for the Six on Your Side investigation. Even when friendly dogs get together, the owners can't guarantee a playful bark won't turn into an angry bite. Sunday, the McGinnis took Casey to the small dog side of the city's Hanscom Bark Park. There was three big dogs in there. One, a brown Weimaraner mix similar to this photo, and that bigger dog suddenly had 33-pound Casey in its jaws. So I jumped over on the big dog like this, tried to pull him away, and pry the jaws open. The dog released Casey, but a tooth gashed Randy's arms, requiring several stitches and medical bills they say the other dog owners should pay. The payment, it'd be, you know, an offer would be nice, but just to know that her dog is, is covered as far as the rabies. But the owner of the bigger dog left without giving her name and contact information to the McGinnis. Everybody was pretty panicked and on edge, and so I don't think that there was any thought to do so. But the Humane Society has officers checking the dog park twice a day, hoping to locate that dog owner. What we want her to do now is just give us a call if you recognize this story, uh, so we can come out and verify the dog is current on a rabies vaccination uh, so that we uh, don't have to take any further steps. Langan says there are few incidents at the dog park, and it helps when large and small dogs stay separated. Here at the Hanscom Bark Park, frequent visitors will tell you this gate leads to the area for the smaller dogs and this one for the larger canines. But if you look at both, there are no signs that tell them apart. Yeah, it needs to be better marked. But on the other hand, I've seen little dogs go after big ones too. Though his arm is healing, Randy would feel better mentally if the owner of the other dog came forward with vet records. And if I ever get twinges or pains in my arm, I wonder what that is. If I have rabies. I wouldn't look forward to the shots. Though Casey may enjoy more freedom off the leash, there won't be any more walks in the dog park for the McGinnis and their pets. Mike McKnight, WWT6 News.